Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June, okay? So, June, what do we have for June for Aquarius? Could happen at any time in June. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Aquarius for June? Just put lotion on my hands, so. All right, we got two. One, two. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. <clears throat> Barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Now, when I say someone is leaving your life, that could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a business partner. It could be somebody that, you know, is just moving away. Um, whatever the case is, someone is leaving your life. <clears throat> Excuse me, I do apologize. So what do we have for Aquarius? I want to keep telling you, stay tuned for a new approach. Stay tuned for, for a new approach, you know. And I wasn't going to say it because I wasn't sure, but I got to say it. Stay tuned for a new approach. What do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, whatever. What do we have? Oh, here it is. <clears throat> Two again, or more. Three. We have a match. Okay, something is on fire or being lit. This is, um, well, it is a match. Seven, seven, seven. Seven is a number from heaven. It's a card of faith, a need to have faith. Uh, about moving in a new direction. Six has come before it, so that have faith and trust. You have a new match, or somebody that you're dealing with has a new match. Deep spiritual connection. So we have a deep spiritual connection here that is heaven sent. Um, I mean, when you see swans, swans are a symbol of love. So we have a we have some sort of match here, definitely. Okay. This is a match made in heaven. Um, interesting. If I can get these to stand up. I, I'm going to be changing my set like today. All right. So we have a match here. Uh, heaven sent. Uh, mate. This is a mate that you have a deep spiritual connection with. Um, if you are single, this is probably could be instant attraction, you know, where you fall in love with somebody. If you are in a relationship now, um, I don't know, it feels like we have something that is about to get lit. Lit up. What do we got? Sevens are choices. They're choices. They're change. Empress. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus or a Libra or somebody that is very fertile. Um, you may be taking on this energy. This is the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. This is a reward. It is a miracle. It is a blessing. So you guys are giving birth to a new life. A new life is about to begin. This is exciting. With I would consider this the Ace of Wands. This is an exciting new beginning here. It's harvest time. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to reap some sort of rewards after some sort of period of time. There, there's been a period of incubation. It's time for you to receive. 
this birth, this, this gift, this blessing, whatever this blessing is, it's absolutely beautiful. Some of you are taking on the energy of the Empress, which is uh, abundance. Uh, or you are receiving something that is going to make you extremely happy. This is a miracle. Um, some of you are uh, creating a new life with somebody that is very nurturing, very caring, very loving, and very abundant. Um, there could be news of a baby. Um, there could be news of a pregnancy or a birth and people automatically think well because we get a lot of people that watch these that are out of child bearing age or that don't want children a birth is the birth of something new okay um, anything can become your baby okay this is the birth of, uh, of something that you are going to love put it that way so yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be deepening a bond with somebody, um, creating something new. There's there, there, Heaven is here, you know, there's a higher power here with those sevens. Uh, this is an exciting new beginning. But, someone is leaving your life, which is interesting. And everything happens for a reason. Perhaps there's a deeper spiritual connection someplace else. The sun. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this except for someone is leaving your life. But sometimes people need to leave your life because they don't serve you. You know, I wasn't going to use this deck again. I was supposed to use a different deck, but I chose this one. So that's pretty interesting. Obviously, you needed to have that message. Uh, this is a beautiful new beginning. This is a yes answer. This is a spiritual blessing. Whatever is happening here, this is this is an extreme abundance. This is joy in your bliss. This is yes. This is the birth. This seriously, we have a birth here. So this is the birth of something that is going to make you extremely happy. This is uh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is a breakthrough. It is a new day. This is a very warm, loving energy that is around you. Shining, glowing. You're going to be in your glory. Put it that way. There's acceptance here. Being accepted, being in great health. Something to do with a child as well. So, I don't know. For some of you, this has to do with a child. Let's get one of these. New beginnings. I'm all, I can't make this up. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning, new beginning. You got a new, a new beginning. You definitely have a new beginning here. There's no doubt about it. I don't even really need to read the card, but I'm going to. You have a new beginning. There is no doubt about it. Beneath the canopy of radiant stars, a mother and a cupid-like child, which is interesting. Mother, and these are both mother and child. Apparently this one is too. A mother and a cupid-like child ascend weightlessly across the heavenly firmament. The purity of their naked form symbolizes the, arch the archetypal newness of life in transcendence of worldly restrictions. Unburdened by the past, she hides nothing and carries nothing except her offspring. She may have encountered obstacles before arriving at this point of freedom, but there is nothing preventing her and her child from soaring towards the stars. This card indicates you may be about to enter a new phase of life. Unlike the card of transition, the mood of new beginnings is joyful expectancy. Right here. That's joyful expectancy right there. Heralding an opportunity to wipe the slate clean and start fresh. Right here. That's that's a new start. That's a fresh start. 
Interesting. The supportive, nurturing energy of this card helps transcend old habits or ways of relating which have been holding you back. A new beginning is not necessarily radical. Sometimes a series of subtle changes brings about the most lasting and miraculous benefits. Perhaps you've been working towards new beginnings such as relocation or career change, but restrictions have hindered your progress. Know that the seeds of change have already been sown and it's time. The seeds have already been sown. It's time. It's definitely time. Know that the seeds of change have already been sown in readiness for your intention to manifest ideas and turn your aspira aspirations into realities. It is time for them seeds to come to fruition, okay? It is harvest time. You see the harvest? This is the, the, the time. It's ripe. The time is ripe. Everything is ripe now, now, okay? So there is a new beginning here. It is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, this is transcendence, you know, uh, the birth, a birth of something new. Congratulations. What do we have for Aquarius? This is a gift. It is a miracle of some sort. This is a yes answer. This is absolutely beautiful. Eight of Coins reversed. Oh, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Swords reversed. Strength card reversed. Oh, we got some weakness here. Feeling inadequate. I'm not sure if you've dealt with somebody that is disloyal or there's some disloyalty here. There's a lack of practicality. Somebody's not really putting in much effort. They're not. It's not working out. This must be the person that is leaving your life. This person is combative. They are controlling. They have been controlling you in some way. They argue a lot. They're unstable, insecure. They don't put in much effort. It's not working out. You've been thinking about walking away or they've been thinking of walking, thinking about walking away. Everybody's been pretending that everything is good, but it's not real. It's not stable. Is that maybe maybe that's what's happening here. That's why somebody is leaving your life. There's there's some sort of enemy in disguise here with that knight of swords reversed or the page of swords reversed. There's difficulty in communication. There could be some unexpected conflict with an individual that doesn't respect you. Maybe you're walking away from them. It's painful because the empress to, to get that blessing has to go through pain, has to go through release. Okay, you got to release something to get the miracle. So anyhow, I do believe that is what is happening. Somebody has been thinking about leaving, uh, pretending with the Eight of Cups reverse. This is pretending to be happy, very superficial, staying put, refusing to move on, not accept change. Eights are both these eights are reversed. You know, not being practical. Uh, not wanting to uh, relinquish the control or give their power away or something like that. There is some sort of weakness here and being controlled by another person. That's not working out. Lack of togetherness, lack of teamwork. Uh, no respect. There's no respect here. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you. Um... You got another option. There's another option. There's other options here. Uh, exploring the options and uh, needing to make a choice. There's a level of confusion and indecision because there's so many other options here. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that's not putting in much effort because they have other options. You may have other options. There's definitely another choice here. It's probably a difficult choice. Obviously, it is a difficult choice. I think there's a there's a lack of communication with somebody because of a third party. This person isn't putting in much effort because of a third party. And there's fear. There's, there's fear with the strength reverse. There's fear of uh, not being accepted or something like that. There could even be fear of leaving a safe situation. This is super, super safe. But, you know, not it's not really working out. Um, exploring the other options is on the table here. We have a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that isn't very loving. Doesn't have to be Pisces. It could be Leo. 
Could it doesn't ha it could be anybody, but this is somebody that isn't very emotionally available. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. It doesn't matter. It could be anybody. This is somebody that is not emotionally available, that is closed off, that is withdrawn, doesn't communicate clearly, probably may not tell the truth, may use emotion. I say this a lot. This is emotional blackmail, abuse, you know, uh, says things without thinking, says mean things, revengeful, vindictive, out of, out of spite, out of wanting to have control so we and that doesn't matter who this person what sign this person is we have somebody that doesn't work well with others because they like to be in control they have control issues and i feel like they have been uh causing confusion this person um is emotionally withdrawn doesn't respect other people this was the person this must be the person that is leaving your life and I feel like there's disloyalty here too they're not practical they may be in their very illusionary this person lives an illusion you know they don't there's a lack of reality here it's like this is somebody that uh, isn't very real making a painful stressful decision making a choice uh, to wake up somebody has been uh, in denial avoiding the truth uh, pretending that everything is okay, everything is not okay. Torn, torn in two different directions. There's some sort of double loyalty here. And there's protection. You needing somebody is trying to protect themselves. You know, they're very, very emotionally guarded. They are, they're not open. This is somebody that doesn't openly communicate. And when they do communicate, they are secretive oh my god I can't believe this is happening this is a very stressful situation uh, held back somebody is held back by fear having a lot of regrets they are struggling with a decision definitely struggling this is the struggle these are both decisions struggling with a choice Something needs to end, but they've been repeating the same negative patterns over and over and over again. And it's because they don't know their value. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is a lack of value. Wanting to leave, but staying put because it's safe. Because of... Uh, it's safe. But I feel like there's, there's going to be a release. I do. I feel like this is the end. It's, this is the death. It's over. It's over. It's over. This is a breakdown. This is giving up. This is, uh, it's over. This is death. It's goodbye. It's goodbye. So this goodbye leads to a beautiful new life. It leads to a beautiful, because the Empress to give birth does have to experience pain. It, that's the way it goes. And you cannot get out of it. There is no birth that happens without pain. None. You might be able to subdue the pain for a minute, but not the entire time. Anyhow, there is a painful release here. This is your release. It's liberation. It's breaking free. Choosing another option. Somebody is choosing another option. They're going towards happiness. They're going towards a new life. There's a deep spiritual connection here. And whether it's you or the other person, somebody is leaving an emotionally uh, withdrawn situation where they've been staying put just because it's safe. Avoiding. A lot of avoidance here. Avoiding the truth, but having a lot of regrets, having a lot of despair and anxiety and losing sleep. And, oh, my God, I don't really want to be here. I have another connection. I re That's where I want to be. This is maybe there was an instant attraction or there's a deep spiritual connection that is heaven sent that was cultivated a long time ago. I don't know. It feels like something is, is coming around that, uh, well, this is a soulmate connection either way. We have two soulmates that are coming together that are meant to be together. This is definitely meant to be. There's no doubt about it. It is time. It's time. It's time for this blessing. It's time for you to receive a blessing. This is... This is a new beginning that is extremely beautiful, that is going to make you extremely happy. Um, but someone is leaving your life, okay? And maybe they're leaving your life because they're choosing another option. Somebody is choosing another option. 
and because where they've been, they've there's been no truth in it. There's been a lot of conflicts. There's been a lot of denial. And there's been a lot of control issues, and no respect, no mutual respect. But this is the end. It's the end of suffering. Ooh, two of pentacles reversed. That is, it is uh, a need to reprioritize. Um, we have somebody here that has been overcommitted. They've been committed to something that has been causing... I don't know, chaos, it's been a little overwhelming, it's been a little bit too much, and they've been juggling it well up until now, but I feel like they're just ready to let go and go after what they deserve. This is a rebalancing. I think there is some sort of rebalancing that is happening, taking another step. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This. And it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a gift. It is, it is uh, receiving an offer. This is about give and take. It's about equality, going after something that is more equal, more equally aligned. So yeah, I feel like this is a time where, where we have somebody here that is making a decision to take another step. It is stressful. It is a painful decision. They're choosing another option because they want equality. They want, they want balance. They want something more. It feels like there's been, there, they, somebody hasn't been putting in much effort. So anyway, Aquarius, you have a new beginning this month where you are going to get something that you deserve that is equal, on equal playing ground. You know, this is this is where, you know, uh, you're getting instead of just doing, you know, you're not doing, uh, it's equal, it's equal. Now, this may have to do with a job even. It could have to do with money. Some of you may be receiving a new offer. Maybe you, you need to choose another offer. You need to choose another situation. There's a lack of teamwork here. There's a lack of respect. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't see your value. I just got to be honest with you. With that Knight of Pentacles reverse, this person or this person, this person is disloyal to you in some way. You know, there could be a financial loss here. It could be a job loss, okay? This could be a job loss right here. But it happens for a reason because you got something more beautiful here. Whatever this loss is, and I do believe it is a loss, leads to a beautiful new life where you will be nurtured and you will be taken care of and you will have abundance, okay? And you will be accepted. There's acceptance here. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. You can completely be yourself in this new situation. So anyway, Aquarius, I think this is a big month of, of release and reward, honestly. Good luck. I mean, that is so beautiful. That is the birth of a new life, and it is beautiful. <laughs>